What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I am collaborating with just Alex Halford. I'm taking over the tutorials for today, hopefully they'll be easy to follow. He's also taken over two tutorials on my channel, a link to them will be in the description. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. So what Alex has told me is that a lot of people on his channel have been requesting to show the best settings for 720p rendering. So in this video, that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you. So first of all, I'm going to go here and drag and drop my clip. This is my intro from my gaming channel. And the first thing you need to do when you have a clip is just right click the video track, click properties, and then click disable resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. From there, just press OK. The next thing you want to do from there is double click above the video, you'll get these two yellow lines. These are the loop regions but they're also the rendering regions. That means anything in between the yellow dots will be rendered when you go to render the video. The next thing you want to do is come up here where it says project video properties. And now we're going to pick the template. So you're going to come to this down arrow and as you'll see you can come here to 720, 30fps. However, if you want 60 FPS, which of course is going to give you the best quality, then you're going to come down here where it says HD 720, 60p, 1280 by 720, 59, 940 FPS. So just select that. Now from here, we don't need to mess with the frame rate because that is already set at 60 FPS. From there, you want to come down and where it says full resolution rendering quality, press this and then simply click best. And then you want to come here and you'll see where it says start all new projects with these settings. Check that. That means when you come back to open up Sony Vegas and you drag a video in, these settings will be saved. From there you're probably thinking we're done, but we're actually not. Come to audio and where it says resample and stretch quality, you want to change good to best. Now you're done, so now you can click apply and OK. From there, the next thing we need to render the video. So before we go any further, you want to come up here, make sure this is set to best and full. From there, we're going to come to file, render as. So the next thing we need to render it. So we have these regions set up already. We can come to file, render as. Now some of you may disagree on this, but this is the one I always choose. I choose WMV. Come to 720, 30 FPS. Yes, it says 30 FPS. We're going to fix that right now. So select that and click customize template. So from here, you'll be brought to the audio tab. We don't need to change anything on the audio tab. The audio is fine. What we need to change is on the video. So select the video tab. And as you'll see right here, the frame rate is set to 30 FPS. If you remember on the project, we set it to 60 FPS. So we need to change this here simply by pressing this down arrow and to click in this right here, 60 FPS. And then from here, just come to the project and change the video rendering quality to best, just like that. And now from here, so you don't have to remember all of these settings over again, come to the top where it says template, and you just want to call this 720 60 FPS, just like that. Press the save template, and now you can press OK. And as you'll see, it says 720 60 FPS. That means when we come to render a 720 video and we want it in 60 FPS, we come to WMV, and the template will be here. We just simply select it, and the final thing, of course, choose a name. So we'll just call this test and then we select render and then from there it is done. You can see it is very quick but of course the time will vary depending on your computer and on the video length. So mine is done. I can now close out of this. We can X out of this and here it is. WMV if we right click it, click properties, come to details and we just come down here. You'll see the frame rate is 59 frames a second. Exactly what we picked. And that, of course, is 60 FPS. So if I was to upload that to YouTube, it would come at 720p, 60 FPS. Now, the video itself you are watching right now is rendered at 720, 60 FPS using these exact same settings. So you can check out the quality right now. Now, like I said earlier, I am taking over the tutorials for today. Later on today, I'm going to be showing you how to do 1080p, 60 FPS with the best rendering qualities. From this video, you probably guessed it. However, for those that can't guess it, I'll show you later on today. So I want to say thank you to Alex for giving me the opportunity to do a tutorial for you guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you've been able to follow. Like I said, Alex is doing two tutorials on my channel as well. You can check them out in the description. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. It's been Casual Savage. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.
Okay, so the first thing is that you don't want to do in your car, playing around with your cell phone. Drop comments down below and I'll be more happy to make a video about it. My own clothing line, through the description down below. Even if you're not a subscriber, correctly and quickly. Twitter and verification process, you can find a link down below. I'm done with this kind of shit. Opportunity is there. As long as you guys keep watching my videos, I will keep making them.